What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. So I haven't reacted to this yet, and I haven't even spoke about how Krishan too got, got hit out. To be honest, I wasn't interested at first. Today I'm interested, okay? So somebody sent me a video, and we're going to react to it. Let's get it. Yo, I swear to God, yo. So look, I'm like, all right. So you can see me now? I right, bet. So I'm like, oh, okay, all right. Who is you? She's like, yeah, you touching on my man. You touching on my man. I'm like... Right, you talking right. about Jada? I'm ready. I'm ready to steal in her face. Like that's my first instinct. You see how I just swing on bitches, don't say nothing. So I'm just like, You're all right. If I girl. swing, I'm gonna speed up time. I swing. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then I fought already like seven bitches in the house, eight bitches in the house. So I'm like, okay, when I swing, all them bitches gonna swing on me. So I'm like, this is my life. I don't <laughs> want this fight no more. So I'm just backing up, backing up, like she getting time fight. and shit. So it's like. It's an L couch, so I'm walking the L way. So they it's like this big ass crazy. horse, right? Sexual. Yeah, so Sexual. it's like this statue or whatever. So the horse was like in my way for real. So and then oh, the, the sister, she get horse. on the couch. I'm looking at her, but I didn't know she was a sister like till after the fact. Like, I don't know none of these. Yeah, I just came to ball. Be no, I, yeah, about I just yeah, I didn't know nothing. I didn't know who and what's going on. I ain't know what. I just know bitches jealous and crying. Like so, I'm like oh. Going on, so I'm thinking I'm getting set up for real because the guards run upstairs to go get blue, but not me. Like, oh. if you go protect me, what's going on? So, when the guards ran to go get blue, I said, Oh, whole house, my good. All right, so my phone he got, and then when I had hit it in the crib, it wasn't near me, so I felt in danger for real. So, I like, All right, put myself behind the horse, but like, right when I'm trying to run and run in the socks, I slipped and hit my mouth, and it cracked. Like in my gums, so I, I'm thinking my whole f is out. Like, cause like, all right, did this almost knock myself out? Like, hit my face. They all like, yeah, bitch, that's what you get. That's what you get. I'm looking at the horse like Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> I'm, uh, okay, I look at them. They blurry as fuck. They coming closer, so I just push the horse on that bitch asses and then slingshot myself out the crib with the this pole that's standing right there. Slingshot like just about the crib is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so then. Yeah, get out the house. Boom. I get down with the house. Boom. It's a car. Bitches, jump out. <laughs> so then I was like, oh shit. Then at the mailbox, it's another car. Bitches, jump out. I was like, it's a football tape. All right. I'm juking, running, sprinting, barefoot, panties, and bra. Then I'm like, it's like, okay, it's a dead end where we at. So it's like, dead end with a stop is, sign. Like, the, this I'll is post tooth. Okay. Mouth bleeding and everything. Oh, wait, but that's where they waiting at. Car, I can see cars. Then they throwing a UV. I'm like, bitches coming from the house. I don't know. It's just like, it's just an army of bitches chasing me. So I'm like, what the fuck? It's like 20 bitches. Like, they had to pull up on the set. That's was some crib shit or something. I don't they know. Huh? Oh, no, they didn't catch me. <clears throat> you got oh, you knocked your own teeth out. Looks yes. Like, yes. Then. Yes. <laughs> so, all right. I climb like. On somebody fucking you or whatever, it's like their little deck or whatever, jump over it. They still follow me. Then behind the house, I went behind the house. I see coyotes in. I'm what? Do y'all think she lying? Do y'all know this story reminds me of a Debra? Like, I forgot who was talking about that. Kevin Hart, I think he was explaining why he was late to work, like as a comedy skit. But is it very much giving y'all a Debra for me? Now, I ain't saying you can't go outside of Las, Las Vegas, L.A., whatever the fuck, and not see a, a coyote. I call them coyotes. It ain't no way you can't see a coyote. So I ain't saying she didn't see a coyote. But do y'all think 20 women was hopping out the car? I would like to know that. I'm not even scared of them, for real. I'm just saying, <laughs> f him, I got to get the f*** away. Then I'm holding my mouth open because blood just She rather stay out, out there with a the coyote. I'm thinking all my shit. I'm crying for her because I'm like, damn, I was beautiful. What the f happened? Like, what the f You're still handsome. Don't, that tooth don't what do nothing. You <laughs> said handsome. Did he say good, handsome? I didn't even know it was just one tooth. Oh, so, yeah, you didn't know. I'm thinking everything is gone, y'all. Everything just hurt. Everything feel like they, mm -hmm. it's out of my mouth. Like, swear to God. So, boom, it's like, like a dirt pain. trail behind them houses. I'm like, okay, I'm cool. Slide, it's like a hill. So, it's the, we in the hills. So, I, Go up the hill, slide down the hill. There's like a dirt trail. Then it's a cemetery. So like, all right, 
Niggas don't know what's I going on. I get to on. the, like, I'm sliding down the hills. All this shit scraping my butt and my feet bleeding, everything just, whatever. So then I get to the dirt trail or whatever. Then I see the cemetery, but then it's a car coming down. It's her. I'm like, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so I climb the gate in the cemetery. Why? Closing the, the gate sorry, in right? the cemetery is crazy. This is a deer, bro. I'm telling you, it's a deer, bro. Then I'm like, my paranoid start talking to me like, you don't know who yard is this is. They could rape you too. So I'm like, all right, get him up out of here. Because I jumped in there like, all right, after I ran from the, through the fucking graveyard, then I'm like, all right, bent the corner and then jumped in somebody's yard, but they're still looking. You can still hear them. Then I can hear a chopper looking for lights. I'm like, damn, Chabas. I don't want to get this trouble. I got hype from everybody. Oh my God. Then knocked on the door. <laughs> it was this counselor from like UCLA, so I take they like don't I was taking classes like from UCLA and Santa Monica College or whatever the f my major. Mm -hmm. Um, long story short, this lady kind of knew who the f I was. She caught me an Uber. I explained to her everything what was going on, and then she, I was like, "Yeah, can you call this to woo woo woo?" She said, "You all right?" I said, "Man, no." She like, "Uh, I know who you are, but it's okay." Then she called the Uber. Then I went straight to Hollywood to Did my apartment. Did you go apartment. find your two? No, I went to Hollywood, told my story on live. Then the blue was calling. Like after I got off, Yo, I need call that because my video. manager. When I banged on her door, she's two doors down from from my apartment. So my road manager, her name is Jay. So I'm like, Jay, Jay, I need your phone for her. She's like, How the fuck you get here? Blue just called like ten minutes ago. What the? Fuck? So I was like, This God, like me, I'm. Really from the hood, like I'm going to find a way home. Mm -hmm. So then, um, I don't know. It was like my life was on the line. Everything was on the line. I felt so disrespected. I ain't really f none of that. I'm like, what? But I knew it wasn't your fault for her. It's really like you know, bitches get really get evil and jealous. No, so I was like, damn, really that has a lot to do with him too. Bitches really act like that. Like I wanted did that. So anyway, long story short, because when I pull up, I don't pull up on with group of people. I pull up by myself. Nah, I think it's uh, oh, here go a breakdown too. Okay, we can get we gonna get into all the archives. So for those that don't that that's new to me, I I I talk about what's going on right now, but I always go to the backstories of what the hell been going on. Okay, so we're gonna do a lot of backstories. If y'all want me to go back into the past, let me know. Just send me a bunch of shit at Royalties World on Instagram. But um, does that story does the story sound real to y'all? That sounds like. That's that story just sound kind of crazy to me. Not saying it ain't real. No, I ain't saying she lying. I ain't saying none of that. I'm just saying that's crazy. Like, all right, you in the house chilling. Boom. Jaden walk up allegedly. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six bitches behind her. So it's given seven. So you decide I already fought seven bitches in the house. I'm not about to get jumped. So you, boom, you get behind the horse. And then somehow the horse punched you in the mouth because that's basically what she said. So then, well, she said she did say she slipped, but ended up behind the horse somehow. So I guess she slipped, hit the tooth, was behind the horse, looking at them, blurry-eyed, what the hell going on? Uh, and she could barely see them, da-da-da. So then she did, proceeds to run outside. When she ran outside, she said two more cars of women was outside. So boom. It's 20 women on little ass Krishan. <laughs> so after that, Krishan runs. She runs by coyotes, uh, possums, raccoons, wolves, and shit. They got a, a, real animals out there. You know what I'm saying? At night. Okay. She gets to a cemetery. Hear me now. Jaden pulls up to the cemetery. She closed the <clears throat> She closed the cemetery door. She closed. Mm -mm. She closed the cemetery door on Jaden. <laughs> As if she couldn't get through the rest of the cemetery. So anyway, closed the cemetery door. Boom! Finds a lady in the cemetery. <laughs> 
The lady knew who she was. The lady called her Uber. She went to her apartment. And then she seen a manager who was two doors down saying, what you doing here? Blue just called, but she didn't think to ask, what's wrong with your mouth? <laughs> just, it was so much. I'm glad I didn't react to it then because I can receive it now, okay? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. If y'all want to go into the archives, I'm sure there's plenty of them on here, and we're going to take it back, okay? Now, in the process of this, I am going to be putting a video at the end, uh, which is going to be a little drama from Tink and uh, Hitmaker. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to continue to react to their debacle. I will be reading the comments. Love y'all. Bye. What's up, y'all? got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got my honey swats with me. <laughs> so... The cornball that he is, Tink, drags producer hitmaker for dissing her in Cancun. That's what we about to react. Well, some 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 wild shit, some recording shit. I need to have a, a good a good a talk. You know what? In my honor, if you happen to see a video of me going up in Cancun. I ain't shit. I'm going to talk to this Krishan. Ain't the only one with drama. And then put their name on it. <laughs> the hitmaker. Please understand <laughs> that it was very justified and I honestly had to do what I had to do because I'm not one to be played with. I'm very soft spoken, I'm very respectful, and I'm very honorable in all ways, whether we on good or bad terms. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Me and Himeka have not been speaking since literally the end of my um the end of my tour, my uh -huh. first tour. So that was in like May. Okay. I haven't spoken with him. He literally is my executive producer. I'm in contract to do business with him. So I have to deal with him on some capacity at some level. This man, literally, I've been in Cancun with my friend, my assistant. It's her birthday. I've been out of my business. I've been doing my thing, working hard. I don't pay him no mind. This man bring his ass to Cancun, knowing that I'm out here. Uh -huh. Right around. You can go anywhere in the world. You choose to come to Cancun. So, boom. I, I know see you this there. in the fucking restaurant. Now, imagine we're not speaking. I still keep it cordial. And damn, how he know you in the restaurant? You your flowers. I give you respect. The man is in the restaurant, booed up with some whatever. We ain't even gonna talk about the women that he he likes to be around. But booed up with just anybody, anybody. I'm respectful. I text him. Yo, you look great tonight. Happy birthday. Go up. That's how I get down. I don't give a f who with you, who not with you. If I f with you, whether we on good or bad terms, I'ma show love. That's how a real bitch move. I don't give a fuck about these many women that you like to be around. So boom, this man literally, y'all, just on the cornball shit that he is, the corn ass that he is, he literally, he literally uh -huh. does not reply to my text, does uh -huh. not, we're sitting at the table next to each other. By the grace of God, he placed us right next to each other so I could see what kind of person he is. So uh -huh. boom. Mind you, I, I okay, shouted yeah. him out for his birthday. That's why he's not posting because the man can't even really accept what he be on. You know what I'm trying to say? So he out here in Cancun. Cool. Uh -huh. Yo, but listen. So as I'm walking out, this man walks out with the three strags that he likes to carry around, acting as though he's the God. And literally, Christian is like, Berg. <laughs> I call his name, Berg. What's up? The man walks back. Now, mind you, y'all, we've been doing business for how many years? How many albums have we put out? The fact that he could not even just say hello, not even just say what's good. I walk to his car. He's jumping in an Uber, of course. I walk to his Uber. Young Bird, what's T? What's up? Girl, he didn't want to talk to you. Am I the <laughs> only one getting that? Wait, wait, wait. Am I the only one getting that? She did not. <laughs> he did not want to talk to that woman. I mean, fuck. <laughs> T, why you felt the need to address him, though? I still call him Young Bird. That's who he will forever be. Who the he hell is hit maker? He did not want to talk to this woman. He flew to... Wait. He flew to her to ignore her. He did not fly to her. Or am I missing something? She was at the restaurant first. She Not only was she at the restaurant first, she was in Cancun first. Mm -hmm. She assumes that he assumed that she was there and he decided to pull up there to fuck with her, it seems, this is what I'm getting from it. But he was in, uh, she was in Cancun first, so he ended up coming to Cancun. He said it was his birthday. He was with some other women or whatever, and she 
DM'd him or messaged him or whatever. He didn't respond. They sitting beside each other. So then the nigga leaving, she say something to him. He still didn't respond. So then he gets in the car and she comes to the car. Yeah, that's what she said. My nigga, no. <laughs> like, he don't want to talk. <laughs> Hit him later, you know? So you go, you literally gonna, you're literally gonna ignore somebody that you've been working with for literally three years? Oh. So y'all, clearly I opened the car door. I had to let him- And I heard his dick little, so I don't understand what are we- Have y'all ever been sprung over a small penis? I would like to know. No, that's some bitch shit. He pulls out a phone, of course, he has to record me. Bum ass, bum ass. No, first of all, I'm a very honorable ass young lady. You know what I'm saying? And you're not gonna disrespect this me. I've been honorable. nice and cordial. And that wasn't the least you can do is say, hey, I'm your artist. That's how you get down in this industry. But he'll get on live and he'll 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 talk about me as though, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? He really I have. with me and it's genuine and we got this coming and we put a 20 piece together. But in real life, you know, that's not the energy that really bring, you know? So if you see a video of me just going off in the car, just know that I had to check him for being fake. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not a fake person. And I, I give a space, I give honor, I give respect. And I expect the same back. Because that's the type of bitch that I am. Don't ever and you're not going to sit in my face with it. three hoes, three of your thousands. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to sit and play with me like that. I'm just not for it. So, yeah. What day? I ain't going to lie. She brought that shit right there on herself. I would have let his ass sit over there and do him and would have minded the business that was paying me that day because that ain't none of my business. Mm hmm. Uh, disclaimer, you can hear my voice just how, just how tense I am. I was going off, but I had to because you're not going to disrespect me like that. You know, especially when we in contract and I'm paying you close to a million dollars every album. He don't want to tell y'all that part, though. Mm. He don't want it. Nah, because this that's what the difference is. Oh, she's literally will be that. in my pocket. We're in contract. We're in contract. So I have to have some respect for him, but... At the same time, it's a mutual thing. And if I don't feel respected, I can't give somebody respect that doesn't show me none. You ain't got no motherfucking choice. You sign, sign. It's nothing she could do. 444. Four, four. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? At the least you could have done was said, hello, team. Good to see you. I ain't on your... I ain't on your... But you, I ain't on your but you definitely was. Know that. The least you could have done was said, hey, I'm, I'm the artist you work with. I'm such a... You know what I'm saying? I'm the prodigy and... You know what I'm saying? It's just be capping. It's big cap. And I don't like that shit. And I did have to, oh, I can't even say, I can't even say too much. But I got to do what I got to do. And if you see me going off, y'all know that's not even my character. But at times you have to get out your body <laughs> to let me know that it's not that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ryan says she talk how Anita Baker sing. Yes. I can't stand it. Stay with me. And you will see my heart. That's exactly how she sing. Not that was Anita, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not one of them okay. bitches, and I'll never be one of them. You had them two little, <laughs> two little mamas exactly with you. <laughs> you had two little mamas with you that thought they could get sturdy, and them hoes literally had to sit in the back seat and shut the fuck up, put your seatbelt on, and go go get. Fucked. That's all you bitches is doing. Uh, I'm over here making money. I'm over here getting to my bag. I'm over here focused on my neck. Well, obviously, you were getting fucked too, ma'am. And I think she's upset at that. I would never get upset with these community dicks. There's just oh, no man. way. These niggas is for everybody. This album, and I'm trying to put out the greatest project of my life. And this is playing with me. Do you understand me? You feel me? Yes. I'm trying to make something. I'm trying to make my shit shake. I've been focused. I've been on tour. I've been in the studio nonstop. You bring your ass to Cancun. I'm trying to be messy. And we ended up at the same <laughs> restaurant. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, that's God. So at the end of the day, I never get on live and I never do rants. But I'm stressed. And I got a right to be stressed right now because people are playing in my face. And y'all, I need y'all to back me because a bitch really sits and does her job. I, I sit and eat now my food around this bitch. Her. I don't we bother. So if I this. ever have to say something, it's valid and, and, and it means something. You know what I mean? So just understand, hit maker, you foul. And if you if you think to, to, to put the video out of me in the car, you know, just understand I'm gonna have to let I'm gonna have to let the clip go. And everybody's gonna get exposed. Cause I know how you've been playing. The label know how you've been playing, and I've been holding shit down, riding for you, and for you, leave me, leave me be, Rad please, please. I've been, I've been riding for you and holding shit down. So if you, if you were to even think about 
exposing me you know what i'm saying just understand that i've been i've been locked in with you and i've been she blackmailed that nigga right on instagram holding a lot of things in wow. so we can play that game and, and and i know everybody understands my heart is Lady. pure i just shouted the man out this morning so this is absurd I just gave him his prop. Thank you for accepting me. And then I see you in the club and you going to... You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? And y'all told me about that man. Y'all told me about that man. But let me just say, sometimes time reveals. You know what I'm saying? And I'm human. And I'm going to make mistakes. And this probably was close to the biggest. You know, I've been through this shit before and I'm not going to be silent this time. People are playing in my pockets and playing in my face and I'm not having it. I'm not having it. And if I got to get physical, that's what I got to do. You understand? Like, but that getting physical wasn't gonna get no money back, y'all. Cause I get it. She's she's upset, but getting physical ain't gonna get her no no her money back. She gonna have to pay nope. some money in a minute. Oh, That's what Bird it. said. <laughs> I'm I'm from Chicago at the end of the day, and I and I can't be anyone but myself. And I had a moment in that car where I had to get physical, and that's what the f it is. Don't play with me, and please, you know what I'm saying. Please don't get on this internet plan because I have, I have to defend myself. And Christian, when you see this shit, just understand you're foul. That's all I need you to know. And you, you, you tweaking with a real bitch, like a real one. You know what I'm saying? That, that goes through the trenches with you. Everybody told me to let that shit go. And everybody told me, be careful working with him. And I never seen it until now. And it's honestly, this has been going on since May. So y'all, this ain't nothing new. I just have to express it because it may drop. It may be leave. sure to like. And that's comment it. and subscribe new music is on the way i can't even tell y'all what the what the album is gonna be but i'm working every day and i'm working hard and that's what I don't understand it's foul when i'm working hard. all right child she's upset about this money thing which i get but <clears throat> this ain't gonna get your money back now youngberg sound like he has some shit in his mouth on this video so i don't want to react to this video unfortunately y'all i hope y'all uh Watch that. But basically, all he said was he going to um, she going to have to pay for what she did. He, and he was telling his lawyer. Between him and Tink in Cancun, Mexico. So as I'm walking okay, out of the place or whatever, I'm getting in my car and they're like, young bird, young bird. Now, mind you, she playing on me because y'all know I'm on my hit make. Right. So. Her and her friends are saying like, yo, young bird, young bird. Cause I'm with a bunch of girls or whatever. Okay. And hit yeah, okay, okay. we're not dating. We're not in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we healing, we moving forward. Now, ultimately we have, a, um, a business relationship, you know? So we work, we have a bunch of songs. We're working on an album right now. So I'm walking out and they're like, young bird, young bird, young bird, young bird. And um, I went and proceeded in getting my car. I got in my car, and um, long story short, she opened the car and put her hands on me. Now, I I respect that. You know what I'm saying? From a, from a woman that's upset or whatever, you see a, your your ex man out or you see a man out that you really care about, <laughs> and you went about that. Now, ultimately, look, this is why I'm just saying it. I don't like how y'all trying to like change the narrative. Like she went and said some shit and said it was a physical altercation because she know I got the footage of her putting her hands on me and um, doing whatever the f that shit happened last night. So at the end of the day, like my whole thing is to be like, look, in reality, this ain't happened. She didn't, nothing happened between her. She lost her, her cool in this situation. And we still mad cool. Like, I ain't, I ain't got no beef with her. I got nothing but love and respect for her. So, with that being said, like, ultimately, it's just playing out in front of y'all. And it's something that could be solved behind closed doors. But, with that being said, don't sit here and think that or try and change the narrative like oh it was an altercation and like we doing something we don't talk like for real for real like i'm not even gonna put our business out there about what really happened or you know what i'm saying like previously or anything because like man like when you really care about somebody you don't go blast them up and that's what i ain't respect about what she did like 
but ultimately she trying to keep her face clean and then be like and the only reason look the only reason i'm saying this shit is because i work for empire i'm her and i'm her executive producer so it kind of like leads into a different situation where like a girl can run up on me and the shit out of me and it's like and it's like yo like go ahead girl do your thing or whatever or blah 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 or but if the roles were first and not even be reversed like it is what it is so what? we don't have no beef it ain't nothing and mind you that shit that they posted from last night with me i was like i'm it's my birthday my birthday is september 9th i was on my birthday on a birthday vibe and it turned into that so i just don't think that y'all need to take anything overly why in the hell <clears throat> does this man date his artists he date all of them i mean all that's of them. one thing i do know about the nigga every every woman <clears throat> that he worked with for the most part he end up dating them well, having sex with him and then getting in like a serious ass relationship. I don't understand that. And then wonder why you have drama like this. That's just crazy. And just allow allow this woman time to heal. You know what I'm saying? Like allow allow the situation. I wish that she allowed that, but I ain't push her to do nothing. We haven't been cordially dealing with each other, speaking or doing anything of that and third. And the reality of the situation is what she doesn't, what she didn't say in that, she should have just basically said, look, this my nigga, I was dating this nigga. He decided that he don't want to, he don't want to move forward with that situation. And basically, we're both trying to figure out how to coexist into the shit. Now, mind you, let's be clear. He's absolutely fine. This nigga was in Cancun with three bitches. He's fine. Three weeks ago, she was in my studio in Miami. We worked, we worked a whole week. Then we went to Atlanta and something happened in Atlanta that I would never divulge. Like I would never really like say it because I'm not trying to throw her under the bus. So with that being said, can y'all please- Something happened in Atlanta which caused them to, I guess, break up. My ADHD has tapped in. I Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Stop. Uh, I ain't asking y'all shit, but um, get off that internet shit. Like, she ran to the internet. She went and went on the internet because she know I got the footage to show to y'all on the internet that she put her hands on me. But when you go and say... uh oh well a physical altercation happened or altercation happened or something like that it put something in the wrong space like if i really wanted to be messy like i got her text like silent like you know how you do that i didn't know she's texting me while i'm in a restaurant i didn't know but i'm really trying to oh, be he got honest her like text on mute or, or whatever i love the girl like as a friend as a person as someone that we done bossed up together like i done show her how to get to certain situations she's put me in a lot of different situations that have reflected to that and i'm not here to talk down on that girl like this ain't no fucking, uh internet drama type shit. like and the crazy thing is we talked about this prior to even doing that but i can say this as a for women and as women, if you see a nigga that you fucking with and y'all going through a breakup and you're somewhere and it's his birthday and he's with a bunch of other girls, I can understand why she did that. But it still ain't, it ain't merit for uh, her to go in get on the internet and get on and be like oh you playing with me and you doing this and and a loop like let's be clear if a physical altercation happened she would have said this nigga put his hands on me so he he's <laughs> thinking that she went on her live and said it was a physical physical altercation as if he put his hands on her but she's the one who said that she put her hands on him 
plenty of time. So he's trying to convince us that he didn't put his hands on her. For what reason? On this girl. Because he allegedly, okay, you know, has put paws on women. Why can't none of y'all doing, why can't y'all do y'all homework on that? So do y'all homework on the fact that he don't like, at the end of the day, yeah, they're trying to say he's an abuser or something. There's a situation to where people were dating. It was a love situation. And it's just a spin out. You know what I'm saying? And ultimately, I ain't dealing with none of that shit. Y'all don't see me doing nothing, nothing like that. I ain't saying that she wrong for nothing. Like, yeah, like if that's how you carrying it and you want to go out in the crash and blaze and, and f your man and, and, and f that you care about and put hands on, then cool. Be sure to like, but comment, and subscribe. That's, that's really what's cool. And ultimately, this what the sad part is, is that we're doing a whole project right now. So I'm going to talk to this girl. We're going to speak again. I just don't talk to her about nothing personal. We talk about straight business. I just wish you would have spoke back to her. But I think his issue is she was like, young bird, young bird, like trying to be funny <clears throat> is what I'm getting from him. And he didn't want to be on that type of time because he was with them other women. Some. It's yeah, some. Well, try to pay her attention. That ain't the pussy he wanted. Facts at all. He, you know, he already he was already lined up. You okay. know what I'm saying? But I, I, for her to think that he knew she was in Cancun, I wonder what makes her think that, or maybe she posted on her story. You know, I don't feel like that nigga obligated. Yeah, that's the craziest the same thing. Same spot. I'm gonna chase this nigga down. Why they be beating? Ah, shut up. <laughs> and with that being said I just don't think that y'all need to go drag it because of whatever you know what I'm saying and this is why I think she filed it though to even allude that some like altercation happened and knowing that you think that you my man oh excuse me that I'm your nigga and you love me like but this like I, I just turned 37 right this this is a certain different thing my birthday was that like that nigga got little fingers him with some that you think that you my man? Oh, excuse me, that I'm your nigga and you love me, like. But this, this is a little finger. This, like I, I just turned thirty seven, right? This, this is a certain different thing. My birthday was like I don't operate like that. You cross me in some type of way <laughs> on some business shit or some personal shit. I'm just like I wipe my hands with that shit. Like, maybe because I'm older than her, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. But when we get to the bottom of the situation, this what she want. She wanted to be, like, a thing for the shade room or whatever. And whether whatever the case is, I want her to have the biggest album, the biggest project. Why you think I've been pouring all this energy into this girl for it to be big? I went through so many things behind the scenes with her that I never divulged. So it's just not really like anything to be said at the bottom line of the end of the day. The only reason I said this or got on live is because like, Nick, I done been through so much shit on the internet. I don't give a f about no internet. But when you get to saying, oh, the label no, and I work for a company and you allude that something happened and we had a physical altercation, just, just get on live and say, yo, I seen it. He was with a bunch of bitches and I opened the door and shit out of him. Shit, that's what she said. That's what she said. That's exactly what she said. That's exactly what she said. Not a bunch of them, but Bubby. You, you, no, she tried. he was with three bitches. Oh, I thought she said. Uh-uh. Okay. He was actually with three. Or he was, either she said it was them three, as in him and two girls, or uh -huh. two other bitches. But yeah. Leave it at that. Don't try and say that we had a physical altercation just because you know that I got the shit. And I'm not talking indirectly to her because we will still speak again. So, like, it is it is what it is. I just don't think that that's, like, something that should be, like, I wouldn't play with somebody I love. So, like, I can't play with, you know what I'm saying? Like, ass cap because you're playing with her in the first place. That's why your ass wasn't... Responding to her. Okay.
If I'm executive producing an album and I'm doing this shit, why would I release a video to like defame anything that she got going on? If I walked in that same restaurant and she was with three, I would never walked up on her table and did none of that. Like, I don't give a, all right, thank you. No, give me that. Give me the, give me the square. Leave him here. Thank you. I wouldn't have never played with with that situation. So I'm not hurt. All right, y'all. Yeah, he repeating himself at this point. Mm -mm. Um, I think that Tink should have just accepted the fact that he was with a couple other women and was not about to respond to her. It is what it is. He don't have to. Um, and I think that she should have told the internet that she put hands on him because had he switched the switched the narrative. And put like out something. Always do. Yes. <clears throat> Which is probably why she did that in the first place. Um, she just needed to cover her ass as well because she done showed her ass. So they both wrong in the situation, I guess. Oh shit. I'm not. Yeah, they both wrong in the situation, I guess, but. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We done with this video. You got something to say, Hannah? Nope. Love you guys. Bye.